Rachel from Vermetrica. I'm here to show you Vermetrica's new SC50 MLF Analyzer. This is Vermetrica's new SC50 MLF Analyzer. Makes measuring malic acid in your wine quick, easy, and accurate. The SC50 is an add-on to Vermetrica's SC300, 100, and 100A. The kit comes with everything, including the SC50, five reaction vials, one blank vial, boost juice, one molar malic acid, 15 mil conical tube, two transfer pipettes, 100 mil plastic beaker, and a 10 mil pipette. I'm taking my 10 mil wine sample and placing it into my 100 mil plastic beaker. And now I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 90 seconds on a low to medium power so it gently boils. We have just finished heating the 10 mil wine sample for 90 seconds on a medium power. Now I'm going to pour the wine sample into my 15 mil conical tube. I want my final volume to be 10 mils. So I bring the final volume up to 10 mils using deionized water. Right here is 10 mils. I pour the 10 mils back into the beaker. And now I'm going to add my boost juice. Gently shake the boost juice using your transfer pipette. Carefully add five drops. Now mix your 10 mil wine sample. Taking your 10 mil pipette and add it to your reaction vial. Quickly close the cap. Now take your vial insertion assembly, disconnect it from the SC50 by gently unscrewing the lure lock. Now hold your vial upright and depress into the septum. This equilibrates your vial with the air pressure. Now shake your vial and let the vial incubate for 30 minutes. Our sample has just finished incubating for 30 minutes. It's time to take its first measurement. To set up your SC50, connect through the BNC connector. Gently push down and twist. Turn on your SC300 by hitting the power button. Make sure your SC300 is in SO2 mode. Hit enter. Turn on your SC50 by pushing the green power button. The SC300 will read zero. You would like it to read 30 plus or minus one. Turn the level knob on the SC50 until you reach 30 plus or minus one. For the original SC100, set the instrument to 0.1 plus or minus 0.05. We're now ready to take your first measurement. Gently shake your vial. Make sure it is upright on your workstation. Hold the vial insertion assembly directly over your vial and depress down into the septum. The red stoplight indicates that MLF is not complete. If you wish to quantify your measurement, record the highest number shown on the SC300. To quantify your malic acid, follow the confirmation procedure. To follow the confirmation procedure, open your vial, take your one molar malic acid, and carefully add one drop to your vial. Close the cap, shake, and incubate for another 30 minutes, shaking once every 10 minutes. Our confirmation vial has incubated for 30 minutes, and it's time to take its measurement. Before you take the measurement of the confirmation vial, Measure a blank vial first. To measure a blank vial, take your empty vial 
Add two mils of water. Holding your vial insertion assembly above the blank vial, depress down to the septum. Record this reading as your blank reading. Now hold the vial insertion assembly over your confirmation vial and depress down. Record the highest number given by the SC300. With these three values, plug them into the equation in your SC50 manual to estimate malic acid concentration.